Give yourself a chance. Give yourself a shot. Give yourself the opportunity. Life is already hard enough, right? Living in the world is already hard enough. And if you don't give yourself the chance, and if you don't give yourself the opportunity, oftentimes you just won't get it. So give yourself a chance. Do this for yourself. Do this for your own sanity and do it for your own happiness. Get it going. Get moving. Get doing, right? Get motivated to be happy with your life. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who has to live it. No one else will live your life but you. Greatness is not something that is reserved for a select few. It's not just a select few that can be great. Greatness is in all of us. Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? I'm so excited for today's topic and I'm so excited to have you guys join me today. I love you guys as always. Smash that subscribe button for me uh, so you can become a part of the Mayday family and also smash that like button for me. The topic is a bit of a wide one so a lot of future content to come. Let's go. Okay guys, so today's topic is fear. We're going to talk about fear because fear is one of the things that seems to hold a lot of us back, if not most of us, myself included. Why do you remain caged and fearful every single day, wasting your life away on something that you have the power and capacity to change? Ask yourself that question. Move forward, push forward, pursue your dreams, pursue the things that you want with the ferocity that is compared to no other and go for it. I was fearful for a very long time, simply live my life. And now I have a great time with my life and with living and I want to share it. Just pursue what you love, pursue your dream, pursue what you want to do. Because what is the point of being caged up every single day doing something that you hate doing and wasting your life away every single day with people that you don't like, an environment that you don't like and being scared every single morning to lose your job or will you have a job today or will you not have a job tomorrow? That's just an example, or being scared of will it work, will it not work, or will they like me, will they not like me. What is the point of actually being scared of those things? There's really nothing to be scared of because you're already miserable, you're already sad, you don't necessarily have that much to lose. So how much does fear actually play into preventing us from grasping perspective? This is a really great question. So essentially, how much does fear play into keeping us from um, being able to get a hold of our perspectives and our thoughts and our dreams and our goals and being able to appropriately cope and scale through and scale up and scale forward towards those. Fear is one of those things that has the capacity to single-handedly hold us back from all of the things that we want to do and should do, we end up not doing any of it because we're so fearful and we're so scared. The problem with fear is that it lies to us. Fear lies to us and that's the problem. It lies to us and it's so powerful that we believe it for years upon years upon years until we run out of time. All of us have a very limited amount of time here on this earth, here on this planet. The amount of time that we have is very limited. You want to do as much as you possibly can and as much as you possibly want to while you're here, still alive on this earth. Fear is one of those things that can single-handedly prevent you from literally living your life and living the life that you want to live for many, many years, if not your entire life, if you never figure it out and you never take the steps to overcome it. So fear tells you things, right? So fear tells you things like, oh, don't don't approach that person. Don't approach that, that person and say hi to them because they'll just think you're weird. They won't like you. They don't even want to talk to you. So don't even say anything to that person. <laughs> yeah, like fear tells us dumb like that excuse my French but 
fear tells us dumb stuff like that and it's so silly right because if you want to approach someone and say hi then approach them and say hi like you don't have to be fearful of something like that but even little things like that or seemingly little things like that fear prevents us from doing it prevents us from being able to create those new connections create new paths for our lives and for ourselves even if it's a situation where oh I have bills and I can't afford to do this then start working towards getting yourself out of that environment start saving more start looking into other options do something to move forward in the right direction and that direction is to move forward towards what your actual goals and dreams are for your life and for yourself for myself in particular the daily confrontation of fear has become something that I regularly practice on a daily basis and something that's very important in my life all the way from a, about a year ago so you guys know if you are subscribed to my channel and you've had a chance to watch that video I have more of a corporate background and I come more from a corporate background and up until a year ago I was in corporate so I was in corporate for several several years and I was making a six-figure salary and especially and which is a lot especially for my age I was miserable I mean I started getting I started getting to a point where I was worn out I started getting to a point where I was tired of doing what it is that I was doing I never truly loved what it is that I was doing necessarily but I did it because it was a job and I've got bills to pay so uh, but after about almost two years in this particular job the, the job that I have prior to what I'm doing now um, I started getting worn out I started getting very very tired and demotivated I didn't want to do it anymore and I was miserable guys I was so miserable I was so sad the environment in that office was sucking the life out of me and I got to a point where I didn't even know who I was anymore I lost myself I wasn't sure of who I was I wasn't sure of what I was capable of doing. I didn't think that I was capable of doing much. My self-esteem went down. I was just miserable. I was just miserable. And I never really truly liked working in corporate anyway. It's a little bit of a different environment from what my personality would be the best fit for. Uh, that corporate environment has always been a little bit different. I just transitioned into it because I thought that was naturally the next step after graduating from college with my bachelor's uh, of course at this time I was in corporate and I was also working on my graduate degree in counseling and psychology at this point I was down I was sad I woke up every morning dreading going to work and dreading my life and feeling like I wasn't making any impact I wasn't doing anything with my life and I was stuck the days were just passing me by and I can't really quite describe the sadness but it was just more this this deep sadness that I had in my life and I hated it and it was obviously affecting um, my effectiveness and my efficiency at work as well it was so difficult for me it was so tough I didn't want to be there not even a year ago not that long ago but almost a year it's been almost a year now I made the decision to leave that environment and to pursue something different with my life. Now, I already knew that I didn't like corporate before I even got into corporate. So I did pursue a graduate degree in what I have now, which is psychology, counseling psychology. Um, so I was already kind of working on that while I was there. But uh, I finally made the decision to stop and go do something that I love doing. What had been stopping me that whole time from doing that is that I was terrified. I was so scared of doing something that fits my personality a little bit more, but not being able to make it a success or not knowing what would happen in the future. Would it work? Will I be able to do it? I have bills to pay. I was terrified terrified so up until a year ago I finally made the decision to 
go out and do it. I realized is the point of maximum danger is actually also the point of maximum bliss. I know that sounds a little bit like a mind but it's true. So that's one of the lessons that I learned is the point of maximum fear, the point at which you are the most scared or you're supposed to be the most scared when you actually decide to make that move is also the point of maximum bliss and happiness. When I decided to make that move, I was so scared before actually making the move. Unnecessarily so, because yes, I decided to make the move, but I hadn't made the move yet. So it's like, what are you scared of? It's not like you can't change your mind, but all the way up until I actually put in that two weeks and I said, I'm doing this, I was terrified. I was terrified, losing sleep. And then when I finally did it and I finally got started, like, what were you scared of? You could have just changed your mind. There was actually nothing to be afraid of. There was nothing to be scared of. The only thing that I'm scared of at this point is fear. My only fear is a fear itself because of how strong fear actually is and how much it can stop you from doing and for how long. I mean, I was doing something that I hated doing in an environment that I hated for so many years. That keeps me in the up and up and that keeps me very alert <laughs> when it comes to fear. Corporate is one of those things where you make a resume, you go, you apply, you interview, you can always get back into it. It's not like you can't get back into it. Will Smith is one of the per people that motivates me the most. And so a lot of these ideas, I used to hear him talk about, like on YouTube, I'd be watching the videos and I knew like, I needed to make a change and I needed to find the strength within myself and actually start believing in, in myself and actually make this change. Just do it. Do what you love. Pursue what you love. Do what you want to do. And if you don't want to do it all at once, start working towards it. Start. Just put in the first steps, put in the work and start working towards it. Why do you remain caged and fearful every single day? on something that you have the power to change. We're all here for a very limited amount of time. And I know that's obvious, but I wanted to remind you guys anyway. I'm gonna die, you're gonna die. So wasting that time away because you're scared is just a waste. It's not worth it. Start figuring out a way to start pursuing your dreams and start working towards where you want to be in life. Get going, get motivated and give yourself a shot. Give yourself an opportunity. That's what I decided to do. I decided to give myself a shot because what I realized over those many years of being stuck or feeling stuck in corporate is that no one else was going to give that to me. I had to give it to myself and I had to start believing in myself start making things happen for myself. I had to at least give myself a shot because it's my life and I'm the one who has to live my life every day. No one else can live my life for me and I only get one. Everything up until the actual quitting of my job and actually putting in those two weeks, all the fear that I had up until then was actually for no reason. There was no reason to be scared because I could have changed my mind at any point in time. So there was no reason to be scared. So it actually just ruins your day. It just ruins your day because there's just no reason to be scared. And yet you're scared anyway. Like if you're just scared, if you're that scared, then just don't do it. You don't have to do it. Fear is a very, very strong emotion. And it's a very, very strong mentality. And it can keep you from doing a lot of things. And then in my experience, in that moment when I should be terrified, handing in the two weeks notice, that moment actually turns out to be the most sure and blissful experience that I have ever experienced in my life. How insane and incredible is that? I have to face fear in the face every day and overcome it and believe in myself because if I don't believe in myself then no one else will 
that's where it starts is with believing in yourself and then you can get other people to jump on the bandwagon with you. With making that change, I love living. I love living. It's something that you can't fake. You just can't fake loving to live. And I love my days. I love what I've chosen to do. It's a lot of hard work. It's even harder than actually being in corporate. <laughs> and there's a lot more on the line, but I love it so much more. I'm on YouTube with you guys, putting myself out there to form these connections and build a bigger message and build that YouTube family with you guys. I'm putting myself out there because I know that there are going to be a lot of people that might be against this message. It's still a vulnerable situation to be in. Being able to be blessed with the opportunity to actually do this and have this conversation with you as well. It's almost like where I am almost doesn't matter because these are the steps to becoming something greater and greater and greater. So I'm never too fixated or stuck or try not to be on where I am currently because those are the steps necessary to becoming something even greater. You don't set out to build a wall. That's not what you set out to do. You set out to lay each individual brick as, as perfectly as it could possibly be laid. And soon you have a wall. Before, before you know it, then you have you have a wall and your wall is already built. Never lose focus on your goals and never lose focus on your dreams and work as hard as you possibly can. Okay guys, well that's all I've got for you today on the topic of fear. Be on the lookout for more videos. Of course, it's also a very broad topic, so more videos to come on that particular topic. I'm so glad that I got to share this with you guys today. I'm looking forward to the future videos and learning more about you guys. Again, smash that subscribe button for me and smash that like button for me. Let me know that you've subscribed so I can respond to that and have that conversation with you. But till then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Comment below. Love you. Bye-bye.